parliamentary updates. The Office of the Parliament celebrated International Women's Day 2020 with the launch of an exhibition of artwork in celebration of women. Addressing the gathering was Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Bridget Anisette George. Madam Speaker highlighted the history of the Red House Rotunda and explained the vision behind the newly refurbished space. The rotunda in which we now stand is one level lower than the rotunda which was traversed by many just prior to its closure of the Red House in 2011. Our motivation, therefore, in creating a gallery in the rotunda in this present incarnation of the Red House was our desire to preserve, to preserve its original character as a thoroughfare. And just as its fountain in previous times may have acted as a symbolic oasis in an imposing co concrete structure, our hope is that the gallery shall serve as an oasis, a place where people would visit to witness, admire, appreciate, and be visually excited and soulfully nourished by the creative artistic impressions of our citizens, the known, the emerging, and those waiting to be discovered. Noting that this exhibition was the second one since the move back to the Red House, Madam Speaker said the artwork was timed to celebrate the role and place of women in society. In the Fires of Hope, a 2016 publication by Professor Clement Sankat, former Pro-Vice-Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, at page 72. It is stated that in one report on the water riots of 1903, the stoning of the Red House was started by a woman, end quote. I guess it may be reasonable to conclude that if anyone in 2020 needs convincing about the boldness, the courage, the power, and influence of a woman, that would not be the ghost of the Red House. As, as it has long been made aware. International Women's Day has been described as an opportunity to reflect on progress made to call for change and to celebrate acts of courage and determination by ordinary women who have played an extraordinary role in the history of their country and community. Madam Speaker stressed that International Women's Day is about women and men, gender equality. Equality is not a woman's issue, it's a business issue. Simply put, as women and girls represent half of the world's population, they therefore count for half of the world's potential, the realization of which the world has continued to deny itself. Gender equality is a health issue, it's a governance issue, it's a workplace issue, it's a citizen security issue, it's a rights issue, it's a budgeting issue. It is best summed up that gender equality cuts across all issues. And the Parliament Channel spoke with some of the artists whose work was featured at the exhibition. The youngest artist was Naomi Joseph. The 14-year-old explained the thinking behind her piece. Well, you know how most women, well, some women will get un treated unfairly. So I think that is like inequality showing. So you should treat all women the same because they, they sacrifice a lot and go through a lot in life. It's showing, like without it, you're seeing the inequality. And when you celebrate Women's Day, you could see that, you know, we have a purpose and you must appreciate women. When I was small, I used to paint all kind of things and give it to all kind of people and they used to love it and tell me I should, you know, make a career out of it. And Amber Shaw, an artist from Tobago who had the soul sculptures on display, explained why her submission was appropriate for the exhibition. Uh, my piece is called Amerindian Illumination. I've made it with steel cement and glass. Um, the glass, I, it's actually hand-painted glass, um, connected on steel frames with cement. They are male and female figures representing a balance between the two genders. So you see the strength in terms of like the structure 
the browns and the hues and um, the intensity of the glass painting, but then the females have a little bit of a more curvature in terms of the shape, and the men are more, um, more square and so, right? But they have the both the same intensity, the intensity of the glass painting, which is supposed to represent the, um, the soul. Ms. Shaw also spoke on the process of creating her piece. It took me a couple months, right? The idea almost came instantaneously on one of those lonely days where I sat down sketching by myself and I'm brainstorming because I wanted to produce something dynamic, something that nobody else has done before. And that's what I came up with. I really do my work sort of looking for that goal and dreaming something bigger. Work that um, people can, can kind of inspire. People who look at it for the younger generation, you know, can see something and it can inspire them within themselves. Artist Joy Lockpat's piece was also on display at the launch. Ms. Lockpat explained the rationale behind her creation and what inspired her to donate her work to the Office of the Parliament. So the piece is called Meeting of the Minds. What it is is um, a bunch of people around a boardroom table. So each person is represented by a circle. And in each circle, uh, you see the different thoughts that a person can have, where no two individuals are alike. In every creed and race find an equal place. Every creed, race, gender. Um, is represented in that painting and they discuss their ideas around a boardroom table and when they're discussing these ideas it's discussed in a calm environment where it's breaking the glass ceiling together where you're coming up with ideas and solutions together and in the center of the boardroom table there's a mirror and it is basically the mindset where the change starts with you and what you think about so that's really what it is about it's about equality I had a wonderful opportunity to present and showcase my painting of the Red House when they were first um, opened. So, and I got another opportunity to showcase another piece um, for a carnival exhibition. So I felt really grateful for this opportunity as an up and coming, I guess, artist. And uh, I wanted to give back to the community and show um, my work to Trinidad and Tobago. And, you know, to, to really showcase the International Women's Day equality issue. Also in attendance were President of the Senate, Senator Christine Kangaloo, Vice President of the Senate, Senator Nigel De Freitas, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Esmond Ford, Opposition Leader, the Honorable Kamala Passad Bissessa, along with several other Senators and Members of Parliament. Artists were chosen from a wide demographic and included male and female, young and mature, novice and accomplished, and who were self-taught or schooled. The pieces on display ranged from portraits, abstracts, impressionistic, sculptures and graffiti. Stay tuned for more parliamentary updates. For more information, visit our website at www.ttparliament.org and follow us on Facebook. YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Parliamentary Updates.